Hey guys, and welcome to my next reaction to World Beyond. So at hopefully uh, you guys will get both parts of the finale. I don't know if it's a two-part finale or just episode nine and episode 10, but whatever. The last two episodes of the season, hopefully you will get both of those reactions today. Um, I'm very excited. I feel like, you know, the second half of the season really picked up and I, I'm really hoping that they go out on a pretty good note. I'm very, very excited for this. All right, let's get into it. If anyone doubts me, you remind me what I did to my face. Oh. My arm, Walter Earn, I trust no man. You tell him that. Jennifer. It's gonna work. I'll make it work. Just need more time with the girl. If you can't, we will. I would love to know what their end game is with all I of thought this. you said the CR that left us. But he left that for us. Oh shit. I believe the asset is hope. You know how far did you say this place was, huh? But who knows? So how'd you wind up in Omaha? Don't remember much. Was not that in the file you got there? Uh, then I guess you can stop. Oh! Can I ask you who assigns you? Dr. Babelard. Yeah, but you don't have a doctor in criminal psychology and a master's in behavioral psychology. Or do you? Will Campbell. Huh? Ah! That's what I thought. Psychological test. <laughs> Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Oh no! Not the flashlight! I'll clear us a path. Follow me. Wow. That was horrible. Oh my god, Elton, did you not find Silas? Don't tell me that. I at least need you two to be together. Cause you're going through it right now. He's going through, everybody's going through it right now. Oh, no, Elton, you're not gonna, that's not gonna make you feel any better. Stop it, Elton. <laughs> Because she wanted to sneak off to Omaha. You knew that, right? Yeah, totally. Maybe Iris is like. That room's not for us. Questioning Huck. They ain't living. Is that good? Up for some climbing? Yeah. <laughs> Joy. Is it? It's not a bite. What if he just wants me to stay because of us? Because you're happy. I owe him everything. Oh. He didn't have to save me, right? But he did. You don't trust anybody else to take care of things. Mm. And you're so controlling, you didn't even trust me to make you a cup of coffee. What are you talking about? Just because so that's me. Saved your life doesn't mean you have to live the rest of it for them. Oh. Oh my God, Elton. Oh, sweetie, do you have food or something? You have to keep your strength up, babe. Freaking out, shooting people. 
Shut up. Shut your mouth. I am not my mom. I am nothing like her. Oh. That patch me up before I bleed out. You're not really talking right now. This is just <gasps> actually manifesting blah, itself. Blah, blah, blah. I think you're scared to find out what your buddy Silas did to me with that wrench of his. No. Wow. I'm not scared. Uh huh. No surprise, Rocket Man. I got shot. Wow. Felix. Shit. Just relax. Hey, it's not that bad, okay? I started on some antibiotics before we left just in case. And I can handle the pain. It's no big deal. I'm not going anywhere for a while, you know it. Oh. It's me. Oh. <laughs> it's awkward. I'm going for you. So you don't have to worry about him. You mean you need me to be different, right? Oh. It's not up to you to carry everybody else. Oh. You gotta figure out how to let that go. Put your trust in other people. Oh. Mm -mm. In me. Look behind you. Oh my god. Okay, Elton, there's four. There's four. We can do we can do four. We can Oh boy. Oh, I'm nervous. And what if the extra week it takes us to get there is a the difference between dad being okay? How what are you saying that we should leave him? Wow. I'm just going to die anyway. No, you're not. I'm going to save you. Oh, Elton. It's over for me. Oh. Enough for you. Sometimes disappoint us, but oh, stand beautiful. That you didn't want me to die. That's a noble thing. Teddy, I think your mom had more faith in people than you think, despite what you wrote in your manuscript. And deep down, she believed that people stood a fighting chance. There's a big, beautiful world waiting for you out there, Al. Oh my god! Oh, I'm trying to hold it together, but I'm not- I don't think I'm doing very well. <laughs> Holy shit. Elton. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Elton! Oh my god, I have chills. Oh wow! There you go. Okay, sweetie, get the ones on the ground. You got it, babe. Elton. You mind making me a cup? Romano's waiting downstairs. Romano can wait. Right? Oh. You don't need me. Oh, yes, yes they do. But not anymore. Ah, uh, Felix, they need you. You. Oh, Felix, they like this, this is sweet, but they need you. This is insane. Not just because, you know, we know that Huck has ulterior motives, but... Oh. Felix, I... Uh, oh no. You really think we should go without Felix? He's a danger to himself out there. Ooh. Raft, why, why are you asking me this? 
Oh shit. Iris. There's something off about her. Where is this coming from? I just need you to trust me on this. Well, Huck has been there for me in ways that you don't understand. Oh, wow. She saved my life. It has all changed between us. No matter how much we pretend it didn't. Wow. Maybe you just don't know me as well as you think you do. Oh, boy. Okay. This is, this is ridiculous. Okay. Were you going to leave her on the Were you even going to tell me? No. Wow! Woo! This, this is, I mean, I guess some brutal truths are coming out and I, but, uh, woo! That's too much. You gotta leave. Right now. Iris won't move on without Felix. I'm gonna be good with my stuff. Wow! I mean, thank you for believing in me. I'm stronger than I've ever been before. Woo! This is gonna hurt, Hope. Hello, hello, Felix? Okay. Is that you? Yes, it's me. I'm with Percy. Tell me where you are. Well, we're, we're about 10 miles No, 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 no. Ah! She's the one that shot me. Uh-oh. Elton? It's all coming out! I just wish sometimes I hadn't had to figure you out. Oh! <gasps> Did she figure something out? That was an absolutely insane penultimate episode for the season. I am very excited to watch the finale. Um, oh god, so many things. I loved that it, I, I liked, um, oh, so many things, but um, it was kind of nice as, as like uncomfortable as it, you know, like makes you feel or whatever that, that Iris and Hope kind of maybe had a little bit of a moment with each other and kind of just got some shit out because you know what as much as sometimes you want to say oh i i haven't looked at you a different way since you told me that or and whatever it is that might be affecting it and i'm not necessarily saying that iris is 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 judging hope by any means but you know like stuff like that learning knowledge like that will affect you. We will have, you know, thoughts or feelings about it. Maybe it's more like she's been holding this burden for so long and she didn't feel the need to share it with me. Or maybe, is it, you know, there's a multitude of things that could kind of come from that. And I really genuinely um, like that they were kind of able to sort of get a little bit out with each other. I don't necessarily think that that's going to hurt them that much as sisters. You have to grow from these things and, and, and all of that. But I liked the, you know, um, Just, uh, I, I don't know. I just, I, I just genuinely liked that they actually had that moment, even though watching it was like super uncomfortable. Um, good for both Iris and Hope. Iris on one hand, I like that she was suspicious. We've had a lot with Iris being very trustworthy um, and thinking the best of people until proven wrong, basically, and maybe even then, you know what I mean? Um, so, you know, that was like a really good thing for her to kind of have this moment of like, wow, you're just so, you're just so okay with, um, you know, letting Felix stay behind. And it's a very strange, you know, when it came to the Silas situation, it's a little bit of an easier, you know, pill to swallow 
no offense to Silas, love Silas, but in the sense that if they are suspecting him of murder or something like that, it's a little bit easier to understand why somebody would be like, you know, maybe we should leave him, you know, whatever. Um, and, uh, you know, kind of the same thing. I'm, I, I just, you know, but, but when it's like, oh, Felix is hurt, and she, you know, and, and uh, there are these these people who are kind of saying, you know, well, okay, let's just leave him. <laughs> like, after everything that he's done for them, I, I totally get why Iris is a little bit like, that's a little off, you know, maybe not. I don't think necessarily she suspected all of the craziness with Huck or, or even still suspects all of the craziness with Huck, but I think... I liked the fact that she had that little moment of like, okay, that's a little off. That's a little weird. I'm going to pay attention to that now. And I, and I like that Iris has kind of grown in, in that regard as much as it's like kind of depressing that this lovely, hopeful, optimistic girl has, you know, we're all rooting for her to get more jaded and not trust people. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't know, well, you know, um, and I loved, I loved this sort of last little bit with, with Hope. Um, as much as maybe uh, she, you know, um, I feel really bad for Hope. Because this is, this is somebody who, who genuinely has a very, like, has, has been a, a dear friend, mentor uh, to her. And she's feeling really betrayed. But I, I do love the fact that, you know, um, she she was really like decoding this this map um, and and figuring out things uh, and and possibly uh, here's my here's my only issue with this. I mean, like, I'm all down for the fact that, like, Hope is figuring shit out and she is like. I wouldn't be surprised if she like listened in on that walkie talkie call with Elton. I don't necessarily think she did, but like, you know, just to be like, um, if she was already, you know, kind of suspicious and all that. Um, but I, you know, I, I, the only thing that I'm slightly worried about is like, you know, Hope versus Huck. I know she has a gun. Because Felix was like, where's my gun? But, you know, if they really go head to head, I, you know, I, I don't really think Hope is going to fare too well, even with a guy. You know, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't like when Felix... <laughs> I'm going to talk about Felix in a second, but when Felix was like, you guys don't need me anymore. Like... Let's, let's just take away the whole Huck situation, which is a situation, right? Like, they definitely need him for that, nonetheless. But, like, but, like, they're, they are better than they were in, you know, the beginning of the season. But, like, they're not. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, they're not, like, some badass walker killers or empty killers as they call it you know what I mean like that, like that whole conversation it was beautiful and Felix was he was pouring his heart out and it was a whole big moment I'll get to that in a second where he's like trusting other people to do things and he doesn't have to be controlling like I get it I get the point of it but you know there I, I was still kind of like no Felix I still think they need you okay let's you know I know that he can't walk too well, but <laughs> they still need you. Um, so with all of that being said, with everything with Felix, God, I was getting really emotional with that stuff because I just relate um, a lot. And it's hard to explain, I think, maybe sometimes to people who don't have a super like controlling or control freak nature. I'm def that's me. 100%. I, I like to do everything myself. Whenever I like hated, particularly in college, it happened a lot, but like I like hated group projects. I hated them because it was like some of my grade fell into like, you know, somebody else's hands and was not okay with that because I'm like, I don't know this person. Like, <laughs> and um, 
I've always been a, a bit of a, a, a control freak. Somebody who, if you want something done, let them fucking do it yourself. And it is an ongoing, like, struggle to sort of, like, you know, that I've, I've gone through personally, just that to, like, kind of trust other people to do things. And, you know, it takes a lot for me to get to that point with somebody where I'm like, okay, I trust you. Um, on so many levels, like on a, maybe like on a more like career level or like job wise, like, okay, I trust you that you could do, you know, or whatever. Um, and even like personally, like I trust you to like, uh, be a good friend, be a good, you know, whatever it is. I mean, I'm just sort of saying random examples. Um, and it's not a, oh God, it's so hard to explain, but it, it's, I totally get, I feel like this is basically what I'm saying, but it's not like I'm trying to, I, it's never ever from a place of like, oh, I think I do a better job than you. It's just a, of a place from like, I don't know, internally, like just, you know, I don't know, it, it, just like a controlling sort of nature and it's kind of hard to, to get past that sometimes. So all of that is to say that I do relate to how Felix is and, and over time it's like you're going to know those people that you can trust and it's just so wonderful when you do. <laughs> I can't even tell you. So I'm really happy that he really found some some situations where he doesn't have to be super controlling um you know and I loved the fact that like Will I like Will I feel like you know volunteered to go on so that Felix could kind of sort of in 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 some strange way be uh, in two places at once you know where where Felix can kind of say oh yeah I you know want um, I want to stay behind and protect Hope and Iris, but I also want to go, you know, and, and I love the fact that, like, it was kind of Will's way of being like, okay, let me handle this. Okay, you control everything, and you want to control everything. And I think a lot of that might actually be born out of, out of stuff of, you know, what's happened in, in Felix's life uh, previously, and, um, you know, we saw in his flashback that he was, like, handling a lot of the finances of his house and everything like that, like, like kind of crazy, and, and being kind of the responsible one. So I think he genuinely, if he didn't have super responsible parents, like, I think it kind of makes sense um, that he kind of became that way, that he, he felt the need to sort of be very disciplined and responsible and a control freak and all of that. Um, and, uh, I, I really, um, like the fact that he, he kind of let that, let Will sort of have that trust in Will. Um, it kind of makes a lot of sense a few episodes back when, when Iris was like, aren't you worried about them? And he was like, I can't be worried about them. I can't. They, he's got it under control. You know, like it was a very kind of significant thing for him. Um. Anyway, I really like Felix. I totally just feel very um, strongly, <laughs> I relate a lot to him. Um, and, oh Lord, uh, Elton, ooh, Elton, my, breaking my heart over here. I mean, just so amazing. So, such a good person. Uh, like just a good person and I love I loved the whole like Percy being his like own mind talking to him or whatever like I loved that whole situation and and I loved um I loved him finding out that that Silas is is innocent and that it was Huck and oh the rage the rage that like I don't know I feel like Elton's gonna be really mad because you know, they, God knows where Silas is and if he's okay. Um, I hope he's in the last episode, but we'll, I guess we'll see. And, and 
it's tough. Oh my God. Like, it, I, and he's like, we just abandoned him because, because of you, because of, oh my God, that's, that's going to be crazy. But, um, I loved that whole thing. And, and Elton coming to terms with what Hope told him about, about his mom and him, you know, I think Hope was really worried that he wasn't going to look at her the same way, but he kind of wasn't really looking at his mom in the same way. And, and he had to kind of come fully around for that. But I love the idea of like, that he is, is, is being super brave and super strong. And yeah, he had, he, he, he needed to sit down and, and cry for a bit and have some moments. I mean, who wouldn't after all of that? You know what I mean? And I just love that he, he then just went on and, and went to save Percy as much as he can um and uh such a wonderfully beautiful uh kind of episode for Elton um I, I think we're all kind of rooting for him at this point I won't say all because you know there's gonna be one person right but for the most part I feel like we're rooting for him and and I'm just so happy. Was, like I had chills when he was like going to to take out all the walkers. That was that was amazing. All right. Um I think that's about it. Uh I don't know when the next reaction's coming out. I'm working on I promise you I'm working on it. Um yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.